Yo, yo, yo. So, man, I'm thinking about this, right? Let me tell you something. You conspiracy theorists. You freaking weirdos. You know what really funny is? Is that um, when people do all these things about vaccinations and all that stuff, having no medical degree, no nothing, no knowledge of the situation, just what they think in their negative ass mind, and a meme that just convinced them one day that doctors and hospitals and all this shit is out there to kill you. Let me tell you something right now. You right now, conspiracy theorist, you had cancer right now. Somehow you figured you went to the doctor and got it all checked out and said you I would love to see you not go receive chemo for your cancer. You would would you really be that die hard in your beliefs that all doctors and institutions are pure evil and you'll be like, nah, I'll beat this on my own. Stay home and die of cancer. I would love to see that. Yo, and th this just comes to me because I just go through YouTube videos and stuff and I, I like to breeze through the comments briskly to see what's the mind state of people. You know, because I, I, I think that's a good gauge of people who, who take the time out to comment stuff. And Jesus Christ, man, the the amount of the amount of stupid. Yo, let me tell you something. Don't ever blindly follow anything about what anybody says. I'll give you an example. I was having sore throats, right? Probably like once every three or four months. And a doctor recommended to me that I get my tonsils removed. Mind you, I was just getting sore throats once to three every four months. Once, once to three every four months. And um, taking my antibiotics, which is not always that great to take. So, like, three or four times a year. And you know what he said to me? He kept it real. He was like, this might or might not solve your problem. We don't know until it's done. And I'm like, hmm, should I cut out something out of my body in the chance that it might stop giving me sore throats? You know what I did? No. And it, it ain't that bad. You know what I went to go see? I went to go see um, natural remedies for infections and whatnot. I got oregano oil, I got black seed oil. Guess what happens when I started feeling a sore throat coming on? I took both of those for like three to four days. Sore throat never happened. Happened again, like about almost like five months later. Took black seed oil, oregano oil. Guess what, sore throat doesn't happen. So you can't always blind, like doctors know what they know of their, what they know what they know. They know about the medicine, they know about the blah, blah, blah. they know about all this crap. But other than that, they're just going by what they know. They're not going by anything else but that. Don't, like, look into yourself if you can, if stuff makes sense to you. But just don't go flat out saying that every institution out there that's supposed to be for help is out there to kill you. That's nonsense. You're going to have to trust somebody with a degree that you don't know, that you hope got your best entrance at some point in your life. Trust me, I broke my leg, shattered my teeth. Uh, was in a fucking coma. Um, yeah, I, well, I didn't wake up out the coma and be like, yo, um, don't trust these doctors. They're all out to get you knocked back out. No, nigga, I trusted them. And guess what? Uh, it's 12 years later, I'm still alive. Gotta do it.